Hello guys, we're here for part number nine. We're in the Super Bowl, and this will be a game vengeance, vengeance wise against Atlanta Falcons. They beat the uh, Cowboys, um, fourteen to ten. Must have been a real close game. Let's actually take a look at how they actually won it. Yeah, um, here's to me. That was pretty much whooped them in stats, but somehow Atlanta found a way to win. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's begin the Super Bowl game. And after this will be the draft, so let's go ahead and start this, see how this works out. Let's do this. Okay, so we are going to be in Lucas Oil Stadium where this is Super Bowl, Super Bowl X LVI. And this is the Jaguars' first ever Super Bowl will be. First season, first Super Bowl. This is going to be the first Super Bowl I think the Jaguars have ever been in. And, uh, yep, first Super Bowl appearance in Jaguars franchise history. Now my question is: Has there ever been a franchise? Has there ever been? Has Jacksonville ever been a different team besides the Jaguars? I don't know. But this is—I don't know how this team made it all the way. But I, I, I saw potential, but I did not see this happening. So there we are, the Jaguars. First season, somehow we made it all the way this far. Part number nine, and there's Jack Del Rio. Here come the Falcons, our, the team that beat us barely. All right, let's do this. Let's get on with the coin toss. Okay, they're away, so they'll be picking Hedger Tails, and they will be choosing Tails. They'll receive, probably. Most computers receive. I don't know why computers never kick the ball, but we're going to go ahead and this. Why? All right, guys, so we're going to be up 7-0. I don't know how he scored a touchdown, but apparently we did. Okay. Receiving. I'd hope they, they're they going to take it out, of course. And they're going to get about to the 20 when it the playoffs. Like, they just changed emotionally or something came to them because they weren't like this earlier. We get a sack. Strip fumble by Antoine Odom. And that's a strip sack. First and goal. And there should be no challenging. Nothing on that. Preferably a touchdown would be good. And McNabb's going to pass Randall. We're going to get close to kind of the touchdown. But well, I'm just going to take the field goal here. I wish we could have got a touchdown, but oh well. Hey, that's more points. That means they're going to feel more pressured, and that should hopefully help us defensively-wise. Now we know they're going to have to pass probably, but we really should have got some, a touchdown, but oh well. We'll take the uh, – see if we can get a sack on this guy. Michael Turner will – ooh, we strip fumbled Rodney White. And we're going to get – Another turnover. We strip Rodney White. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They get this. Nope. Nope. He obviously was uh, up still. Still field range. Hope we can get. Hope we can get past the 30 at least. We're gonna get more than that. Hey, we might actually get a touchdown. We got a touchdown, Maurice Jones Drew, from the 33 yard line. There's a touchdown, Maurice Johns. And we're going to be up 17-0 at the end of the second quarter. And they're going to get first down. Nice play, Roddy White. Let's change things up. Let's see how they do here. And they're going to go deep. And they're going to get a touchdown on us. Thanks to Roddy White Matt Ryan connecting. And this will not be a shutout, guys. This will not be a shutout. All right. Let's go up the middle. Try getting a. You never know. Extra point block. Anything's possible. I've only. Good night. Alright. Right um, this is going to be a tricky play. We're going to go. Wow. And another touchdown. We, I tell you, man, we are just really kicking these guys around. Wow, we are just pumbling these. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice play, Randall L. To get a first down. That was a nice play. Let's do a draw. See how this works. Get a first down and more. A touchdown, actually, to be specific. And that will just put this game away, guys. We just 
their defense just sucked. I mean, their offense wasn't doing scrap. Their defense was not doing crap. And this, we will win the Super Bowl, and we will see guys after. Uh, we'll see guys after simulation. Okay, guys, we won the Super Bowl. They got like one more touchdown in Super Sim, but we just dominated. Let's enjoy this victory. First season, first champs in our franchise. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure how many years we're going to do with this, but I think we're going to go at least three to four more. I don't know. Ultra Radiation and I, Ultra Radiation 15, I will discuss that later. Want to hang out with him, probably. Sportsmanship by Jack Del Rio. Um, I want to skip a good portion of this, to be honest. There's McNabb. He didn't really do a whole lot, honestly, but he just kind of secured the win. Rich Jones Drew is our Super Bowl MVP, and that's our final play of the game. That's what really secured the win for sure. There's Maurice Jones Drew doing another touchdown. Jeez, how many touchdowns does this guy get? Good Lord. Like three touchdowns. So we are champs. There's our boy Maurice Johns Drew. And there's the Falcons. And shame. I know how it feels, believe me. Especially when my Steelers lost Super Bowl 45. What a bad day that was. And there's us at the White House, etc., etc. I don't like showing all this crap. I don't. It takes too much time. So let's take a look at the game recap stats. Um, total offense, they beat us in stats, but we got them rushing yards. They beat us in passing yards completely. Player stats McNabb, 7 for 12, 1 touchdown or interceptions. Rich Jones drew, 3 touchdowns, 11.7 yards per carry, 164 yards rushing. We got a good run McNabb earlier in this game as well. Receiving, Maria Jones Drew got led us in receiving. Blocking, we allowed one sack. Defensively, um, we got one sack with Odom. That's about it. And uh, interceptions, we got none. What about fumbles? We got like two fumbles. And yeah, so uh, we're Super Bowl champs. And see you guys in the draft. All right. Peace and goodbye. Hello, guys. We just came off that Super Bowl win. Being down the Falcons. And we're here for the draft. Our first draft where we get to build our team. And uh, I think my friend's about to start the draft since he's the commissioner. And we just came off that beat down the Super Bowl. And uh, I don't know how we get to this thing. Did he start it yet? Um, it looks like we have some very good players in here, but since we have the 30 second pick, um, I'm not sure how many good players we're going to get here. Oh, there's my boy PJ Claw. Oh, whoops, there we go. We up, oh, get started. All right, we good. Um, so according to what I think we need on my team, the commissioner has paused the draft already. All right, 30 seconds. That's cool. So, I'm either I'm looking for a quarterback or a wide receiver with my first pick, and this is going to be uh this is going to be interesting to see what I get here. We got PJ Clawson. We have some interesting. Yeah, I know who most of these players are because um I've done multiple online franchises on my N12, so I know who most of these players are. PJ Claus is like a scrambly type. Bates is a passer. Hayes is decent. Not really that good at all, honestly. But we need a quarterback or wide receiver. Maybe a different tackle would be kind of good too. I don't know. We'll see what's best. Hopefully we can get something good though. Now he paused the draft. I have no clue what he is doing. All right, now he's gonna. Okay, now he. Okay. What? Good night. Okay, I don't know what he's trying to do here. He's trying to change in the timing crap. Like, really, dude?
If nobody takes BJ Clawson, that might be our, our best pick to go with here. Either that or... Please, nobody pick PJ Clawson. Please, nobody pick PJ Clawson. Yes. Our best player available is PJ Clawson, so that is who we're going with our quarterback for the future, guys. So there's our first pick, PJ Clawson. A scramby type, read option, all kinds of crazy stuff there. So there's our first pick, which will be a quarterback. And now, since my friend put 45 seconds on the clock, that's more time to see what we're going to get here in the draft with our 30-second pick. And no, you cannot trade picks or draft or uh, trade up or anything. So for my second, for our, our second thing, I think our our weakest point is that uh, free safety and defensive tackle. Okay, something on defense just to help uh, ensure our defense is strong and powerful. And I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the best thing is on the board when we draft. But I'm not sure what it's going to be. Maybe we'll get a cornerback. I'm hoping we... There's, see, with the Man 12 draft, there wasn't really a whole lot of flexibility. There's, there's really not a whole lot of good things you can get, honestly. And let's take a look who my friend's going to draft here. Who did He drafted their wide receiver, I think. He's going to draft their strong safety. Someone drafted a kicker. God only knows who did that. So a defensive tackle or free safety is what we want. Back, free safety, there's a 72. Middle linebacker, there's a 72. So, um... Let's take a look at what we have here. Age, that dude's kind of young. What about uh some of his tackling power moves, finesse? So I'm looking with Stafford Green. He's like a 75. Let's take a look at free safety. He's a 72. So I'm going to go with Mustafa Green for our next pick, guys. Um, his tackling looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Tackling. This guy looks pretty good to me. So Mustafa Green is for our next player we're going to get. So cross that off the board. All right. Our third thing, I think, is going to be a middle linebacker or a wide receiver. So let's take a little linebackers. Way over here. 72 left. Wide receiver, 74. So let's take a look at wide receivers here. We'll see what we have here to work with. Dylan Johnson, Derek King. I want some kind of tall. Some speed. Dylan Johnson, I think, is who we're going to go with if we can get him. Because we do need another receiver to work with. So I will put my linebacker or wide receiver should be our next big thing we want to get. Don't forget, we do have free agency during season in trading, hopefully, which we might take a look at some trades we can maybe make if um, none of these guys pan out as expected. So you look at some linemen, see if we have any linemen left. Not really a whole lot here to work with. Maybe like 170, 270s. I'm not going to look any draft any linemen until later in the rounds. Best player available is a cornerback or a tight end. We don't need neither of those positions. We can get those later rounds when um, everything's trying to go down a little more. Wide receiver really went down the drain. Dylan Johnson's gone. Not a whole lot left here. So let's take a look at middle linebacker. See what's left there. Not a whole lot good there either. So best thing available is going to be Marcus Woods probably. So you look at his catching. Catching is what really is important. Is where's catching? Catching, 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 catching. This guy's not the greatest at catching. So I think Jeremiah Miller will be our best guy to go with. So let's get Jeremiah Miller with our third pick. I say that because it's not all about speed if you can't catch the football. So, you know, what's what's that what's good is that gonna do with you if you can't catch the football? So I, that's why I decided to choose Saunders, whatever his name was, okay? So I think for our fourth pick, our biggest next need is a right tackle due to some players falling. If you look at the player management skills, though, I'm going to look to pick one of these guys. You know, it's it's not always about, like, the best player available. It is sometimes. It's all about need. I don't know how well these guys are going to develop. Let's take a look what's available still. I think I'm going to take one of these project cornerbacks or maybe a tight end to work with. Let's try one of those. Take a look at catching, because that's important, too, with these players. 
catching, catching traffic, catching. So I'm going to take probably one of the best players available because a right tackle will not help us till we need one, really. So let's take a look at one of these products. Preferably, probably, a, we also might need a cornerback as well. That way, our, when our secondary gets a little old, we'll be good there still. Zach James might be a bad project to work with as well. Just for a second. Um, his catching's not good, though, which scares me. I think that cornerbacks is better. So let's take a look at man coverage. Check out his man coverage is. I, I, like, I like this guy. Um... Either one of these two is cool with me. I would take either I the either of these players. For preferably Darrell Gordon, though. His speed's better. So we're gonna take Darrell Gordon with our fourth pick to help our secondary for the future. So we can cross that board. Need off the board. Um that wasn't even on the board actually, so let's get rid of right tackle. Next thing I I had, mind you, I made this pre-draft. Like I just look at the player management. And my next thing I was looking at was center. For our fifth pick, so let's take up center. Did my friend leave. I don't. I, I think he left. Um, center just for someone for a future to work with. Some lineman kind of developing skills. That's not really gonna help a whole lot. So I'm gonna let's just if center is our best thing available, we'll take it. But let's take a look, wide receivers and running backs. Okay, right here, I see a little bit, some decent things maybe to work with, but let's go to running backs instead. I see not a whole lot of good stuff here at all, which is not good. So again, I think our best choice may be going to the best player available again. And I'm looking at Derwin Brandon. Look at his catching compared to Zach James, 60 to an 80. So I will go ahead and take Derwin Brandon when my pick comes up, if no one takes this guy, because this guy looks like... A future replacement for um, Mercedes Lewis, and that should hopefully help, um, you know, maybe ease up something. Let's take a look at his blocking as well. That's important. Um, blocking. Where's blocking? Okay, not not horrible, but not bad. Zach Dean is more of a blocking tight end, but Derwin Brand is more of a catch tight end. So I'll go ahead and take Cam if no one takes this player. I'm guessing no one will. No one does, so I'll take dirt. This may not be exactly what we need right now, but these are the best players available, which hopefully should uh, kind of help ease up some things in the future. So that was our fifth pick. Sixth pick and seventh pick are supposed to be right here and halfback. I don't really see a whole lot there, so I'm just going to leave that untapped and just sign, maybe just leave the players we have on the on our team right now at that position. Because I really don't. I mean, let's see catching if there's really anything good here that looks good I see 81 he won't really get on the field a whole lot the best catcher is an 82 I mean this guy doesn't really look I don't know there's not a whole lot it's really here left really so I'm just gonna go to all just draft some best players avoid I'll actually take Keenan Morgan get two of the best players I actually wanted I think it was this guy or someone else I actually wanted so we'll take um, after cornerbacks there's really not a whole lot left there so we're going to take corner, we're, yeah, secondary is important as well as um, up pressure and all that kind of stuff. My friend drafted a running back. Really interesting, why did he do that one? Okay, this is taking longer than expected. Should have made it shorter probably. Yeah, I, I'm going to have the draft. Uh, I think this is um, a good, decent draft to start out with. And we'll take Keenan Morgan with a, our sixth pick. Pretty much a seventh round pick, really. So, so far, this draft has actually looked pretty good. And now the cornerbacks can start to go. So, punter, we don't, there's nothing, there's not a whole lot, there's not a lot of good stuff here. We didn't get, see, with some of our cornerbacks we drafted, they can actually play free safety if they wanted them to. So, that actually might help too. There's really not a whole lot left anywhere. Some tight ends, not really any receivers. Like I said, there's stuff we could just get real simply, um, um, 
off with our team we already have some of the stuff. I don't know why, but in this draft, every time I do this draft, there's always a lot of cornerbacks are not taken at all, really. So I'm going to look at man coverage, and the best man coverage, guys, the guy we're going to look to get, because I do a lot of man coverage, obviously, you guys should know now. So the guy, the best guy with man cover 15. Oh, yeah, these guys are, these guys are receivers. I'm going to take Cobbs, Emmanuel Cobbs. Never mind, someone else wants him. How about Octavius Hawkins? How good is he? 67, I can work with it. How about Leo Burns? Nah. Let's take, uh, best cornerback available. Heck, let's take another quarterback. I mean, no, 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 no. We're good, we're good. This guy's 65. I still gotta use that throwing. Just in case, um, you never know. There's some... Ooh, this guy's there. I'm gonna take Chris Moeller. Two quarterbacks in our draft. So draft is finished, guys. This is our team. We can exit now, and this is our draft. This is, uh... I'm gonna go and write the schedule. So we played Tennessee Titans week one again. We... We play Texans. We play my friend week three and week six. So this is definitely going to be an interesting schedule. Ravens, this is going to be a very interesting schedule. Let's go ahead and go to our depth chart. See if we can go to the... Okay, let's put in P.J. Clawson. McNabb's our third. I'm actually going to... We're going to release some players. This is really too many players at once. Best receiver. Oh man, this is really nasty. This is we really gotta release some of these players. Yes. I'm gonna release some of these players. We have too many right now. Quarterbacks. Luke McCon, we don't really need you. Dave Garab, we definitely don't need you. Blaine Garrett, we don't need you. So guys, I I don't know how I'm pretty sure we'll uh I will see you guys in the next part when we play our first game. Alright. Um, yeah, it's been kind of hard for some of these players. I don't, Chess and West are not going to do a whole lot for me. Yeah, my, my receiver corp scares me a little bit. Definitely scares me a little bit. We have some interesting projects to work with. Zach Miller, really don't need you. Um, a tackle. We'll sign whatever we need in free agency, obviously. You have Mustafa Green, we'll have to get you in there somewhere. So it's, this is not going to take one year to build a good team. I mean, we have some definitely good players to work with. Definitely, though. So I will uh, see you guys in the next part when we play our first game with our brand new team. Thanks for watching this, guys. Subscribe and everything. Peace and goodbye.